Welcome again to Enya Love Bad Must TV. And guess what? We are live for Kenny Black, all out for Kenny Black this time around. This is the oxymoron of Kenny Black, and he calls this one the third term. In the first term, Kenny did serve us hot. In the second term, it was hotter. And now the third term, we're here to see everything that he has in store for us. I remember Kenny Black know the doll, as he's one of the finest comedians in Nigeria, musical comedian, if you must say. And yeah, I totally love him. Today, we're reaching you live from Eco Hotel and Suite, and it's a about to get hot, hotter, hottest. My name is Alesha Moyoserlu and remember to keep it locked on Nelala Badmos TV. How does it feel stepping out for Kenny Black? It feels good. Um, he's one of the comedians we all respect. Uh, Kenny Black um, is very organic. His materials are, uh, you can always say that it's second to none. Uh, he's one of the few who we know in Nigeria that always does uh, music comedy. And, you know, that's that's different. So, I mean, it's a good friend of mine as well. I like um, his space and his mind and what he works with every time. Is uh, one kid I know has never had a bad show. A one man. Let me put it that way, right? <laughs> All right, so I know you're expecting so much tonight, but tell me one person you're looking out for apart from Kenny Black. I mean, I'll be honest. Uh, I saw a couple of guys. I think Judge Funny is on this one. Um, uh, I'm not too sure. I think uh, Imam might go to SLK, one of them. I know they're very uh, aspiring comedians coming up. Uh, I think I like them for the fact that they're very organic. The materials are something you're probably not going to find anywhere. So, I mean, I want to see that. And I know for Kenny Black, back to back, I, I think I've been to every show I've done, except for the last one he did. So this one, I feel good to be here. How does it feel coming out for Kenny Black? Uh, it feels good. I'm sure I'm here to have fun. Uh, I know I'm going to have fun tonight. Okay, so if you see Kenny Black now, what will you say to him? You're doing great. <laughs> I love you also. You know, uh -huh. it's getting bigger yearly, and I'm proud of him. I say, apart from Kenny Black, what other act are you waiting to see tonight? Uh, majorly Kenny Black. I know a lot of artists and comedians are going to come support him, but I'm here for Kenny Black. Okay. And big ups to him, big ups to the also. You know, he's creating and making the comedy industry bigger, mm -hmm. and that's what I'm proud of. Okay, so let's do a shout out for Enyola Badmos TV. Okay. Yes, yes, sure. I go by the name DJ KYS, aka DJ KYS Jojo. Big shout out to Enyola Badmos TV. Oshie, Joe. My name is Max Kid. Miss Kid, how are you tonight? I'm feeling great. You're feeling great. And how does it feel like coming for Uncle Kenny? I feel amazing to come to show. I came as first term, second term now, third term. Third term, you heard it right. I know that you've seen Uncle Kenny perform a lot of times, but if you see him right now, what will you tell him? I said, Kenny Black, you are a great camera idea and pe people love you. People love you, aha! So I'm with the gorgeous Miss Oniru Etiosa Lagos, beauty queen extraordinary. <laughs> How are you tonight? I'm feeling good, thank you. All right, it's good to have you step up for Kenny Black, Oxymoron, but how do you feel? Express yourself. I feel really happy. I've never met him in one-on-one, -on -one, so I really want to, a part of watching on YouTube, I want to see him live. So yeah, so that is why I'm here. Okay, so there's so many acts performing tonight. Apart from Kenny Black, who else do you want to see? I don't know. I think they really, and I'm already seeing him. <laughs> On TV day, when I go watch a movie for a part of cinema, Furious 8, now I see guys sit down, spread legs like this, <laughs> put popcorn for me, or carry on in five fingers like this, come through like this.
when they come write something, and they get done. One thousand, you know, sir. Caught here, boy. I said, what, what do you want me to do for you? <laughs> you, you, you want me to start the movie? <laughs> that is what you need to stop in that day, madam. And please, the last but not the least, ladies and gentlemen, it's Latin and normally they blow now everywhere. Please, those Latin, it might not really go too much. You need to start crying, begging for help. Yes, I know what I'm saying. If you check history, people are mentioning two faces now because he started with cry and he's still crying. And Maka disappointed him, he screamed. He has been crying for so long. If you don't cry in the music industry, you might not go far. I'm telling you the truth. Even whiskey, they go in the shop and whiskey, whiskey, no more, no more, no more. Whiskey started with cry. Ladies and gentlemen, when to please enter the studio, when he started, what, what did he say to do? When he said, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. When you have to he cried again, he said, wait for that now, still wax is strong. Ladies and gentlemen, small doctor will go far. His car was loud. I, 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 I. Ladies and gentlemen, tell Olami Day if you can see this. Your next song, put to your cry. When you started, you started with scream. And now you get here. Don't have your body out here. Stop all the men who love me, love me. Nobody wants to listen. Cry. The country is bitter. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, whiskey was trying to announce to Lorena when he hide. One day, but the police stopped him. So where is he? He said, everybody, they go out. He said, yai. Oh, Paul, look out. Kai, what is yai for? He said, star boy. He said, Kai, what are you for? He said, I'll lie down. But that's only one job. He knows he's a problem with this. But he said, tear with his star. Ah! Next time, where is he with his star? What is he with his star? He said, oh, no, no, no. Right here with Femi Adebayo, a lot of people know him with different names, but I choose to call him Jelili. <laughs> Good evening, sir. How are you? Good evening. I'm fine. Thank you. I know that you're really excited coming out for Kenny Black tonight, but really, how do you feel? Express it. Well, I feel really good. You know, this is um, a talent that we would definitely continue to appreciate. His style is extremely unique, you know, and that's why I like it. You know, he brought music into comedy. You know, and one thing about Kenny, apart from his talent, Kenny is extremely humble, you know, and um, I appreciate him for that. I missed the last show, and that got to me. I did not actually forgive myself for that, you know. But for today, I'm here, and I'm ready to see a fantastic performance from Kenny and other talent. You came out for Oxymoron of Kenny Black. How does that make you feel? Oh, my God. I feel great. I feel great. I feel awesome. I feel excited, despite the fact that I'm seeing lots of comedians that I really want to. So I feel very excited. Thank you. All right. So how will you describe Kenny Black? Kenny Black. Kenny Black, I see him as a young and vibrant gentleman. I mean, he didn't just come out. Um, like he came from the scratch. So I love the passion that he came up with. I really love that. How do I get to a hotel now? I need to ask for direction. I need to ask for direction. Come, come. I need to ask for direction. Come, come, come. Just ask me. 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 Just ask
Ashiri the mystery man as well as Ayomide. But before we do this, let's face Ashiri. What's what's what? Can I want to ballet to me? What's what's? What's what's? Ayomide. What's what's? Say say blue. We're going to vibrate in the air. Alright, Ashiri. How do you feel coming out tonight? It's so great. You know, turning up for a brother, a great colleague, someone who I really admire and respect, Kenny Black. He has my. He's everything. I respect him, so I have to be here. It gets all out. So I, I know that uh, there are a lot of things you're expecting. It's the first time has gone, the second time. This is the third time. If you were to tell Kenny Black something right now, what would you say to him? I'm not going to tell him anything because Kenny Black is on the path already. I'm not, I don't have any expectation as far as Kenny Black is. Kenny Black is consistently excellent and it can only get better. So I don't have expectations. As far as I'm concerned, Kenny Black is excellence. So I don't even have expectation is like mm, dimin is diminishing. Kenny Black is excellence. That's it for him. For All right, let's talk about Ashiri. What are we expecting from you in the second half of the year? Great. My TV show is coming. Then my second book is coming. And most importantly, a whole lot. Then my concert abroad is coming too. I've sure. never seen you dance. Yes, Ayomide, how do you feel coming out for Kenny Black this evening? I feel so good because I've never been to a show face to face before. I've only been there once and it's not like a big show or something like that. So. How do you feel stepping out for Kenny Black this evening? Well, um, Kenny, I mean, let me just say Kenny Black is my brother and um, this is how we do it, I must say. I was there last year and of course was huge, was excellent, I love it. So this year I just said, okay, I just got back from London this morning and um, when I go home, I got my invite and I'm like, okay, it's Kenny. I'll come out for him. Mm -hmm. I know you were here last year. This is the third term. And there are a lot of expectations. But if you see Kenny Black now, now, see Kenny Black stand in front of you, what would you tell him? For me, I think he's quite new in the industry, unlike some other people. But trust me, he's getting his A game already. And um, he's, um, he's at the top. Well, I really don't want to say he's at the top of his career. But he's 
is, is really, really making sense now. Also, I just want to say, I just want to hug him and just say, Kenny Black, I'm quite proud of you. If you want to have the knowledge of each other, I'm the one that's supposed to make it new. And before, let's, okay, you are the one that makes it new, so sorry, don't worry. But me, I'm the one that usually makes it new. And I don't, I made the move um, to the protocols. Like, I would have started from yesterday. So, like, yesterday night, I washed the plate in the house, mop the floor, you know, in the morning, bath our daughter, change our papa, so that in the night, I'll make her food, then I'll just touch her, she'll yeah, then we'll know about segregation. But now she's been making moves trying to know me and I'm suspecting that maybe she has removed that contraceptive. Now let me explain. Let me explain, let me explain. When we got married, both of us planned, we got married in 2016, we planned that we won't have any children till 2018. But the way my fertility set up, we shall have a child. Now, when I'm talking about my fertility, I'm not training it in everybody, I'm not training it in your face because just like Black Lives Matter, Blue spam counts. Let me wait to get it. Did you get it? <laughs> so, but basically, Jack, because I have a daughter, an amazing daughter, and everything, but I've been paying bills. You know, when we're getting married, all the money back, we're like, ah, ah, nice for going out from one who I pay, ah, old school one, everything you get. So, so now I'm getting it first now, and I'm like, okay, baby, chill. Chill before we have the next child. But well, recently, my wife saw my daughter's baby pictures. And she's like, oh, I'm so cute. I want to have another one. Meanwhile, you ladies, you don't realize. You, you people always forget what's happened when you have, when you, when you label. After the label, you forget when you see the baby. I, I put it to you that now men suffer past for label. Let me explain to you. Because, see, once you see, you suffer for the way they clap. Oh, my God. <laughs> once you see the baby pictures, you're like, oh, my baby. But once we see, once I see my daughter's picture, I'm like, this girl, this girl has always disturbed me. When I, now, what my daughter does, let me explain the, the trouble we go through during the day. First, I don't understand what my wife is going through. She's just shouting, Yeah! Hey! Emmanuel, come! I come. Emmanuel, go away! I go away. Can you hear me? Then they gave her more gas. She started talking like she was running. You understand? So I was shaking. She now finally gave birth. Yeah? Now, all her problem has finished. My own problem started. Because as she gave birth, I could not touch her. If I touch her, you are very unreasonable. I just gave my last one, you get. So we did that for like three, four, five months. Around the sixth month, she was now ready. Okay, we did it like two months now. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. We did it. Ah, Mr. Iowai. We did it like two months. So the third month, we're ready. Now, we, have, we know ourselves. We're about to know ourselves. And you know, knowledge is a process. Like, you have to leave Egypt, go through the Red Sea. My daughter, we sleep. It's when we're about to reach Canaan land, she will not be crying one stupid cry. And you know women, no matter what level you get to, when you need to do something, you just leave and go back. You don't know what you do to us men. You leave us at the rest. We are not the one holding the seat that the seat should not. Let me continue this story another day because time not there. DJ, are you ready for me? In life, there's always two sides to everything. For example, in this home, I can say, there are some set of people here. If you believe Chelsea is the best club in the world, make some noise. That's good one. If you believe Chelsea fans are noise makers, make some noise. So there's always two sides to everything. They just, they did Game of Thrones not too long ago. Game of Thrones fans in the building, make some noise. The next set, those of you that are happy that finally this Game of Thrones don't finish, make some noise. Then the next set, those of you that I 
I'm on fire. Call 911. No, call Kenny Black that I'm on fire. Yes. How do you feel coming out for Kenny Black? Any day, any time. You see, uh, whenever I get notifications about the oxymoron loading, I just say to myself, ah, ah. It's one of those nights that you just get to unwind and you forget that the next day is Monday. Mm -hmm. And one of those special nights where, you know, you see people that you have not seen in a while. Yeah. Like I saw this, this madman. <laughs> I, I, I just ran into Femi Adibai and Sodik Adibai. We went to school together. Yeah. And then, you know, you know, it's just one of those nights that... You want to, like I said, unwind, laugh, have a great time, chop all the smudge up to bring your way, drink all the drinks, <laughs> hop tables, mm -hmm. because you know that from one table you go to another, another one, and then, and then who knows, you might just end up on the stage. <laughs> all right, Daryl yes, but what, what really do you love about Kenny Black? I think his spontaneity and his, the way that he has un he's unraveled a genre of comedy that is very alien, and I don't think anyone can duplicate or replicate it. Mm -hmm. 
I think Kenny Black is just one of those people who can never run out of time. Reason is, music is universal. There's always new music out every day. And when there are new songs that I just know, ah, Kenny Black is just going to do justice to some of these songs. So yeah, and you know, it's so short, black, like my boy. Shake on journey. And then that's his, that mouth of Kenny Black. No, let me put it this way. His vocal cords, they have a social security God, number. God just blessed him. Now winch. Now winch. Black winch. You know, if you want to tell me, you go come in here. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Because what will you be trying to do? You know, say, I'm not saying, 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 I'm not Ladies and gentlemen, you know if they want to catch you, you will not wait for you, Mr. Home. You will go to the class. As I enter the class, you just say, Sir, a sheet of paper, we are having tests. You know all those tests that you are writing, you know that you are failing before you write it. You know, some of you, you have failed so much that you even, you even fail your, 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 you even fail blood test. You do not pass it. Some of you even fail correction. You miss it. You know, some people have faced so much that they don't even bother doing any professional anything here because failure is your name. That thing, that song is your thing. So you understand? And if you can get me as we reach it out, because it's just like everybody tells she don't remember we have a test. She didn't school here in English. But we do the test. So me, we took my English, three of us, and two dialogues will be shared. So me, I hold one dialogue. Yusuf and Lamin is still complications. You won't collect by from Yusuf. Yeah, he closed the city up. You know what I'm saying? That one says, oh. Oh, man, I'm mad. That one says, oh, no. I hear my girl with you. That one says, oh, my girl with you. Oh, you know, you know. I just said, come on, the person is done. Kenny Black promised us fun and he actually delivered. It's been amazing right here at the Oxymoron of Kenny Black, reaching your life from Eco Hotel and Suite. Remember that on Enelabad Must TV, it's nothing but fun. We don't dull. And you have to keep watching, subscribe, like, and stay glued. My name is Alesha Muriel Saralua. So we'll catch you up at the next event. Keep watching. Mwah.